Hey guys, today's video is being dedicated to subscriber iHeart Angelo Willis. Okay, iHeart, you asked me for a mini series on appetizers, and I've got just the thing for you. I'm gonna show you how to make three of my favorite quick and easy appetizers that look impressive, but actually take minutes to put together. So first up is my goat cheese log with rosemary and balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze is now more and more available at your grocery stores. You find it in the actual vinegar aisle, usually next to the balsamic vinegar. What it is is actually balsamic vinegar that has been reduced down to create kind of a thick syrup. All you do is take a log of goat cheese, put it on a platter, then you're gonna drizzle it with a little bit of balsamic glaze. And then the final step is just add some freshly chopped rosemary over the top and this time of year, if you grow your own rosemary, you will find that it'll start to blossom and it'll have these really pretty purple flowers. So when I clip it from my garden, I always try to make sure that I get some rosemary with a flower on it because it makes for a wonderful garnish. And to go with your goat cheese, I recommend either some raisin crackers or some raisin bread. Anything that has raisin in it is going to be a wonderful complement to the goat cheese and the balsamic glaze. And there you have it, instant elegant appetizer that took minutes to put together. So next up, my homemade olive bar. Everybody likes a good olive at a cocktail party. They're just a wonderful complement with all kinds of beverages. So it's really easy to make them a little bit more elegant just with some store-bought jarred olives. I'll start with the black Kalamata olives, and you're gonna drain those, put them in a bowl, and then add some fresh lemon zest. It adds a wonderful freshness to the olives and it looks so pretty too. Then the next olive we're gonna use is a green olive stuffed with garlic. You're gonna toss them with some herbs de Provence. You're gonna give that a good stir and put those in a little bowl and set those aside. And then for our third choice, I like to use a mixed jar of Mediterranean olives. And you're just gonna give it a good shake with some red pepper flakes. And then as a nice counterbalance, I like to add some fresh parsley. That way you get the combination of the spiciness of the red pepper flakes and the coolness of the parsley, and it's just a really winning taste. To serve, you're gonna take your three little bowls, put them on a platter, et voila, you've got an instant olive bar ready to go. So now for our third appetizer idea, my sweet and salty honey cashews. It's another one that's delicious and comes together in minutes. What you're first gonna do is melt some butter and some honey in the microwave. Then you're gonna add some brown sugar, and some salt, give it a good stir, take that mixture and pour it over your cashews, giving them a good toss just so that they are all well coated. You're gonna pop those in the oven just for about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna stir periodically just to make sure that the nuts are browning on all sides. When those nuts are ready, you're then going to transfer them to a serving bowl, and then I like to garnish with a little extra sea salt on top. So there you have it, I heart Angela Willis. I hope that these appetizer ideas have given you good reason to have people over and give them a try. Let me know what you think. I think you guys will find that these appetizers are quick, they're easy, affordable, and come together in minutes. I'll see you guys back here next week when I'm gonna share with you a Cheap Eats for Vegans, a delicious recipe you won't wanna miss. I'll see you then.